Hi guys, now we can discuss the playgrounds in Xcode. I hope you guys installed Xcode in your Mac system. If you not yet installed the Xcode, just go to my lecture one and follow the steps and install or else you can directly go to the App Store and uh, install the Xcode from the App Store. So it is the e uh, easiest way to install. Now we can start quick introduction about the playground. Apple introduced a wonderful feature in Xcode called Playground. So it is an interactive development environment. So how the playground works is whenever we write the code in playground, it runs the code automatically and will show us the resulted output. So basically it will allow us to check the code in real time. And also we can download the playground in iPad also and we can run and check our code in iPad. So it is pretty easy way to run the code in playground. So let's open the Xcode to play the Swift games in playground. Now I am going to open my Xcode. So in Xcode, um, we need to select the playground. We get start with playground. And here we need to give a project name like uh, this. playground strings yes sorry yeah and you can save it on desktop or wherever you want yes this is the screen of playground on left side it is the editor area here we can write our code so whenever we write the code Playground immediately run the code and display the result here itself. Okay, so we can uh, start write the code in Playground. So here there is a declared string as an example by the Playground. So where str equal to hello Playground. So whenever you write, uh, whenever you are assigning the string like this, the, the Playground will automatically run the code and it will display the output over here so same as like uh, if you want to print uh, a string uh, for example i want to print my name in the output area for that we just use the print function and put in between the quotations just write your name i'm writing my name sritecha yes so here you can observe one thing there is a backslash n along with the output it means whatever the next output it will be in the new line so for example if i want to print uh, some other name print in quotations mm, take mike mike so mike will be in the new line so backslash n means new line uh, and also like uh, in swift whenever uh, we want to assign a string we can use where or let so where is for variable and let is for constant so now i am assigning a string with where so i will show you assigning a string with where so in comments string with where uh, here let me take a few examples like where uh, first movie equal to in quotations titanic so where ferret ice cream equal to my favorite is always vanilla so you can write your favorite and here I want to declare the question so where question what is the question it's like just I'm giving like what is your first movie and favorite ice cream question mark So now we should write an answer for this question. So let me take a variable for the answer. 
so where answer equal to so the answer should be like uh, my favorite movie and fa first movie and favorite ice cream is titanic and vanilla so for that we should combine these two strings two string values into one sentence so for that we use plus operator so i will show you my first movie and favorite ice cream is plus first movie plus and uh, should give in between the quotations and plus favorite ice cream so now the answer uh, like um, my first movie and favorite sorry yes favorite ice cream is titanic and vanilla so here you are unable to find the full output so you can just drag this one like this or else we have two options over here so one is quick look and another is show result so when you click on the show result the plus sign so the pop-up the answer will be below your code okay so if you drag this box so you can able to find the full answer so my favorite movie and favorite ice cream is titanic and vanilla so now i will show you how to assign a string with let so string with let so sorry i'm forgetting to comment the line yes so let me take few examples let uh, um, first name equal to in quotations or uh, three let second name equal to teja so whatever i did so far to uh, combine the uh, two strings in one line so the same uh, thing i will do over here so print um, first sorry first name plus space and again plus and second name so the answer would be Sri Teja so just okay here we are going to go like this sorry and here yes yeah yes this is the Sri Teja so what is the difference between the string uh, string with where and string with let so the difference is as i said where is for variable and let is for constant we can change the string value for where for let we cannot change the value so let me show you an example so i will uh, change uh, so I, I will show you the difference like uh, difference between where and let so let me take one more example with where where my car equal to honda and for let let your car just always capital for the second word 
so your car equal to Toyota okay so here I want to change my car from Honda to uh, something some some another brand like um, for example BMW so you can write like this my car equal to B and W so so now if you want to print the my car so it will display BMW because already we have changed the value of my car from Honda to BMW but in let case so if you want to change uh, your car from Toyota to some another car, some other brand it, it won't allow to change like that because it's a list we cannot uh, change the let value just I will show you let is your car equal to Acura so here uh, we can expect an error see there is an error so Xcode only suggesting you to uh, do uh, like let to the change letter to var to make it mutable so here you can do uh, you can if you want to change the Toyota to Acura simply you can change this letter to the var or else just you can uh, delete you, you, you can delete this code if you want to if you don't want to change the Toyota to Acura just leave it leave leave that like like this okay so we're done with uh, how to assign a string with where and uh, string with let and uh, the difference between the where and let so basically uh, we can change the string values into uppercase or lowercase automatically through the code so now I will show you how to change the string values to the uppercase or lowercase uh, in play playground is like uh, for example first I want to change to uppercase uppercase here I am taking like uh, um, your car your car dot so whenever you write the dot syntax uh it uh, the pop-up will come with the uh, properties and you can uh, methods and properties so you can access the properties for the variable so dot uppercase so you can just access the property so automatically it will change to the uppercase same as lowercase also lower case so just uh, Toyota uh, your car dot lowercase see see the total word is in the lowercase so guys this is all about this section now we can uh, have the idea how to declare the strings um, with where and let if you like this video please hit like and do comment below and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Signing off.